Hi guys and welcome to part 2 of building a DJ stage. So I would say uh, let's jump right in and let's uh, lay the laminate floor. And just in case you don't know what I'm talking about, this is European style laminate flooring. It is uh, a MDF board, melamine coated, so very hard and robust. I uh, usually cut the stuff with a jigsaw and they hook together like oh, one handed, not easy, such. And I will glue the stuff down to the floor with MS Polymer Construction Adhesive. The procedure is uh, pretty simple. I lay one board in, measure and cut the rest and glue it in place and do it vice versa so that the um, joints are always offset. Okay, so today I will work on the speaker stands. They are made out of poplar plywood and uh, I want to make cutouts here. Okay, so here are all my pallet wood strips, uh, 120 meter, and they will go on like this in two layers. So let's go. Joe? Joe? Ooh, that's a lot of work, but we are getting somewhere. The first layer of uh, pallet wood strips are, is on, and because they are all of different thickness, I had to sand everything with the angle grinder because I don't want to ruin my thickness planer. 
nice and now it get a uh, layer or two of white paint to be reflective and I'm still waiting for the LED strips to arrive so maybe I will get to a halt but so far so good So this is the LED strip I want to use, uh, 12 volt, 8 millimeters, uh, red, green, blue and warm white. So let's give it a try. 5 meters of the stuff, which are 600 LEDs in total, uh, draw close to 3 amps, so 35 watts. Okay, so to see if my idea works out, I have glued in the LED strips in the first of the 62 fields and yeah it took me about 50 minutes to solder everything together and that's what it should look like in the end with two layers of tarp on as a diffuser and this goes over like such and yeah Not bad. And to test my LED madness, I decided to uh, build a quick and dirty tester. So nothing fancy here. It's just four push buttons, uh, a LiPo battery block, from which I only use three cells, which give me around 12 volt, and couple of push-in connectors. Okay guys, so since this is such a time-consuming work, I think I will stop the video here and refer you to part 3 of the series and so far I say thanks for watching. Yeah.